The years 2000 to 1600 BC are known as the Old Babylonian period and Old Assyrian period. These terms denote the main languages in which Mesopotamian documents were written during this period. In southern Mesopotamia, the Babylonian dialect of Akkadian was dominant. In the north, documents were written in the Assyrian dialect. What about Sumerian? This language was also in use. While it was no longer a spoken language, Sumerian was preserved as a literary language. Scribes in the schools of southern Mesopotamia copied traditional literary texts in Sumerian and even composed new ones. From a political aspect, this period was characterized by a decentralization of the ruling authority. Many small city-states competed with each other for regional control. An important innovation of this period was the appearance of Amorite elements in Mesopotamia. The Amorites and their culture will be presented later in this course when we discuss Biblical and ancient Near Eastern prophecy. During the Old Babylonian period, Amorite nomads gradually penetrated urban Mesopotamia until they became a central part of the Mesopotamian social fabric. The most prominent city-state of Amorite character was Mari, on the banks of the Euphrates. A large and splendid palace was unearthed in Mari. Within the palace, an immense archive was discovered that sheds light on almost every domain of life in the city. Of special interest to biblical research are the texts from Mari that deal with prophecy. These will be discussed later in the eighth unit of this course. Other prominent city-states during this period were the rival cities Isin, Larsa, and Eshnuna. Isin supplies us with an important law code, the laws of King Lipit Ishtar, who ruled this city between 1934 and 1924 BCE. This law code will be discussed in the lesson on law in the Bible and the ancient Near East. The Old Assyrian dialect, which we mentioned before, was spoken mainly in the city of Ashur. Ashur was the dominant city-state in northern Mesopotamia during this period. Ashur excelled at international trade with distant cities in the region of present-day Anatolia. As part of this trade, an advanced banking system was developed. Many old Assyrian texts tell us the story of the traders and the bankers and their sophisticated business relations. Turning back to southern Mesopotamia, here the city of Babylon also struggled for regional hegemony. Babylon, like many of its neighbors, was ruled by an Amorite royal dynasty. The city was involved in a constant struggle with other city-states, such as Mari, that included alliances and counter-alliances. The king who put an end to this battle of small regional forces was the famous Hammurabi. Hammurabi ruled the city-state of Babylon. From 1763 BCE onwards, he conquered extensive areas of Mesopotamia. Gradually, he added the territories of Larsa, Eshnuna, Assyria, and Mari to Babylon. Eventually, he transformed the small city-state of Babylon into the largest kingdom of the Old Babylonian period. Hammurabi's most famous achievement was his law code. This law code is considered one of the foundation stones of comparative research of the Bible and the ancient Near East. This topic will be discussed later in this course. The Golden Age of Babylon did not last long. Shortly after Hammurabi's death, Babylon began declining in power. Its ultimate destruction at the hands of the Hittites occurred in 1595 BCE. This defeat marks the end of the Old Babylonian period.